Hi folks, welcome back to the audio filing car. Um, it's the end of the week and this weekend I've got three cars to hand over. The first one is this uh, G-Wagon. I've got an RSQ3 inside, we've got a Tiguan inside, and we've got two Defenders actually, one of which will probably finish, one we won't, as well as numerous other installations in there. So just want to take you around the G-Wagon as uh, it's a rather nice little treat for the weekend. It's an immaculate example. Um, gentleman lives in London, so he's kept in an underground car park most of the time. Done a few hi-fis for him, I just wanna upgrade the hi-fi on this. So it came to us with new front speakers. It had uh, Focal components fitted to it, but um, you let's just turn it down a little bit. Interestingly, when we took the door apart, there was no soundproofing whatsoever. The installer had soundproofed the, um, <laughs> the adaption plate, but if you're familiar with his doors, you'll know that the whole sort of regular panel is, is open with just a film across it. So you've got no damping between the back of the driver and the back of the door card, so, or, or no um, baffle as such. So needless to say, we've stripped this down. We've added four layers of soundproofing here. So back of the door card, regulator panel, um, the lovely soft foam and the inner door section. So we've tried to get that driver, that focal driver to work as efficiently as possible. Um, also had a set of focal five and a quarter coaxes set and you can just see the grill there in the rear quarters for a bit of rear fill again they weren't they weren't actually sealed so done quite a lot of work in there took them out made baffles mounted them in there properly completely soundproofed those those rear areas um the whole point of the installation was to keep it looking very standard because obviously it's quite a collectible car now and extremely valuable um so we've kept the original hedge unit in there and we've mated our hi-fi to that hedge unit so we've got front components, we've got rear coaxes, we've introduced a subwoofer, an amplifier and a DSP. So it's the brand new Audison um, integrated amplifier and DSP. We've used three of these this week and they've only just been launched and we're very happy with them. This is a new DRC controller. So as you can see, we've built this angled panel, we've set the controller in there and it's got several purposes. So at the moment it's doing master volume, but it can also control the time alignment, so you've got six, I think six or eight, six time alignment settings or presets in there. You can switch between your presets, you can adjust the subwoofer level control, you can change your end curve, um, and you can operate the master volume. So as well as um, integrating to the PCM, or the, the well, sorry, not PCM, I beg your pardon, command, as well as integrating to the command, we've added something called an Audison Beacon, which is a high resolution Bluetooth streamer. So that way we could keep the original source in place. Customers can still play CDs, which as you can hear, we're playing at the moment. Um, but we've also got a high res input, which is controlled from here. So a couple of taps of this button, we switch away from the um, command unit and we switch over to high res streamer. Then we can play things like Tidal, Spotify, whatever we want from our mobile phones um, at a good resolution. So what we'd want for a hi-fi. So, that's what we've done in the front of the vehicle. If I take you around the back, I'll show the stuff that looks a bit more pretty. So again, one of the points was the, the customer didn't want to lose any of this width. It was really important, but it was kind of a little bit of dead space here and the same on the other side. It had a little um, active subwoofer here, which really wasn't doing anything, took that out. And what we've created is this amp rack here, which just sits in the space. We've trimmed it in a material which really closely matches the factory material. So rather than the kind of Mercedes grain leather here, which we also keep in stock, we've got this vinyl, which kind of mimics, you know, side panels and stuff. You can see how close it is, it's pretty good. We've relocated the light and we've set in there our multi-channel amplifier with DSP. Again, it's a brand new Audison product. It's really cool. Um, the interface is great. It's easy to set up, a lot easier than the, the previous amplifiers. And it's also going to be consistent. So all of the new Audison products are going to share this user interface. So that's impressive. It's a multi-channel amp and we're running the front end actively. So two channels to the woofers, two channels to the tweeters, um, two channels to the rear speakers and then a bridged output to drive this subwoofer. Um, this is the JL Audio W3 six inch driver. Um, it's a miracle in its own right. It's an incredible little six inch speaker. Requires a tiny, tiny, tiny box volume and it's enabled us to get it into this space um, without taking up any room. Now this is all super strong. The reason why it's super strong is there are structural sections that run through here. Um, Paul has fabricated up steel plates and then welded um, nuts onto the back of it, drilled that through. So we've got um, actual nuts and bolts. So you've got bolts that go through the back of this subwoofer that go through the steel plate and into the threaded sections. That's all wound up from inside the same there so there's absolutely no way everything can can ever move in here it's incredibly solid and in this 
and this are just beauty panels which are designed to fit over the front and again you've got um, little tiny tool tool little tiny um, allen keys there um, they're machine screws and we've installed rivet nuts on the other side in the um, subwoofer front and also in the amp rack so it's completely serviceable you can undo this screw and do it up as many times as you want it's not going to chew the thread out it's not just a self tap or anything like that it's really done properly and i think you'd agree um, it's pretty smart not lost any space at all or not lost any usable space got this metal panel on the back we've installed foam panel foam gaskets all the way around here because this was just a little tiny bit rattly so we've done that and uh, yeah that's about the size of it so g-wagon convertible with a system that now rocks not only have we kept the original hot that the original hedge in it um, to keep it all looking uh, nice and factory but a depressor button we've got a high resolution input so it turns into a proper hi-fi there you go. So if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating content from the Audio Filing Co. I make some cracking videos, or maybe not that cracking, but hopefully the content is interesting. If we manage to get this posted quickly, then I'll bid you a good weekend. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch.